Steven here from Recreational Power Sports coming at you with a new Avalon pontoon boat here. So this one's a 2585 BRB. It's the Catalina edition. So very, very nice boat. Gonna go through it with you from front to back, explain what it's all about. First thing we're gonna notice here is we got the custom matched uh, Shoreliner trailer. It's got the rock guard uh, painted material so it shouldn't chip and or rust. You'll notice here we got the hydraulic brakes. We got tongue jack obviously, and we got the winch stand, which is also stairs with a nice grab handle to get in and out of the boat. Makes it super, super easy, nice to get in and out of the boat. Now to the boat, you're gonna notice first off at the back, or well, I'll just start right here. So we got 2585 VRB, it's the saltwater edition. Basically the saltwater edition is just a couple extra anodes. So if you're gonna use it in freshwater lakes, not a big deal, you wanna take it to the ocean, Awesome, ready to go. Outside of the boat here, uh, it's got the blackout package, first thing you're gonna notice. So that means black rub rail, black corner caps, black lights, black rub rail, black bimini and tower when you get to the back. Kind of cool, don't do many of these boats, but we got a white and a black exterior. So it's, I think it really pops, looks really, really good. Uh, like I said, I usually do one solid color, but that looks awesome in my opinion. With pop-up cleats, nice thing with pop-up cleats. Easy to tie off, do whatever you gotta do. As you come alongside the boat here, you're gonna notice we got the blue underglow lights. So very, very popular. I like to try to add those to all my boats. We got right here the side keel. So the side keel is there in place of impact on the tune. So if you impact, you bump up against something, you're gonna hit the side keel and it's a lot more rigid and is gonna have less impact than on the tune itself. So we keep coming along the back of the boat, you can see we got these lifting strikes. There's six lifting fins. What they do is when you pin it, it helps you get up out of the water and on top of plane a lot better and gets you going to where you gotta get there a lot faster. Um, it just gets the, the tunes themselves out of the water and I guess eliminates drag. So that's a really nice thing we got going on with, with, uh, with this boat here. Um, you're going to notice we have the nice power fold arch with the custom bimini. So it's all built in there with the Catalina badging and the Avalon badging. And as we come to the back of the boat here, you'll notice that we got a decent sized swim platform to jump on and off of. We got the nice upgraded um, four step ladder with the wide steps to get in and out of the boat nice and easily. And we got this custom match with a nice big uh, Mercury v10 400 and it's in uh, cold fusion white that matches the boat so it looks super cool uh lots of power nice and big motors you can see how much bigger it is than me so uh that is the exterior of the boat follow me inside and i'll show you what the interior is all about in the interior here you can see the nice fit and finish that we got going on with this boat here so you can see we got the upgraded flooring mm, super super nice so the fit and finish of it uh one of my favorites that i order uh, next thing you're going to notice is the seats. So we can notice the, the tritone colors here. Okay. So super, super nice there. And we actually got the furniture series upgrade. So you can see it goes like up and you got a little bigger pillows. So it just kind of, um, puts a little contrast into the seat, makes it just pop a little bit better. Uh, we got a lot of storage up, up front here. So as you could tell, Avalon doesn't have the rotocast tubs. It's all open, so you get a lot more room, and you also have the airflow to keep everything dry underneath there. Next thing you're gonna notice is that we got the interior blue ice package. So you got the toe kicks, the speakers, as well as the cup holders all lit up in blue, which is very, very nice. Uh, I love putting them in all my boats. It just makes it pop a little bit better. We got a wireless phone charger down here. You'll be able to see it. It's kind of hidden way down there, which is a nice feature. Everybody's got uh, chargeable phones. Down in here, you got a nice size ski locker, storage locker, whatever you want to call it. Nice and big, lots of room in there. As we come through into the main helm here, you can see we got the fiberglass console. So nice thing with the fiberglass console. If you nick it or anything, you could easily repair it. It doesn't sun fade, it doesn't crack. At the main helm here, you could see we got uh, driver and passenger chairs side-by-side -side seating okay armrests swivel slides and reclines as well so you could recline nice little lever on the side 
the main helm here, you can see we got a nice fusion stereo. We got a digital dash here to do all, all of your accessories, switch them on and off. Also your speed, all of your engine controls and everything there. And a nice uh, Garmin fish finder on this side here as well. Tilt steering, it's upgraded steering wheel, obviously my favorite, if you've watched any of my videos. And then we got on the far side, the helm here with active trim. So the active trim here, it will automatically trim the engine for you as you're cruising. Uh, it just multiple, multiple um, trim points every second. So it really helps you out there. And it, the nice thing with active trim also, when you pull the engine back into neutral, it will automatically put it down for you. So you don't have to be constantly on and off the trim. We got a portable cooler here on this side and the pop-up change room. So obviously the pop-up change room or privacy station as we call it, pops up, drapes down, do your business, change, whatever you gotta do there. Quickly kind of put it back together here. Another nice feature of this boat is that we have the side entry door here. So you could enter and exit onto the dock as needed. Okay. Um, at the back of the boat here, we have the VRB aspect. So it's called variable rear bench. So this one here, as you can see, you could sit this way facing forward currently with a couple extra people. If you want, you could put it the opposite way. So you could sit here facing backwards, watch your skiers, wakeboarders, kneeboarders, whatever you want to do there. And then say you didn't want to do any of that and you just wanted to hang out and relax, you could put it like that as well. Okay. So a bunch of different options for you there uh, with the variable rear bench. At the very back of the boat here, you could see we have a stereo controller at the back. Okay. We got the gated aft, so it just closes. You have storage in there, lockable storage that is. You got a nice little uh, patio pad, I guess, to jump off of and stuff. So it's nice there with a ski pylon as well as the tower. Tower has a bimini built into it, which is super nice. We got the speakers built in as well on the tower. And then see if we could do the arch. And the arch goes down and up pretty easily. I'll just show you that real quick. So a nice little feature there. Um, so this is the boat itself. If you guys have any questions, concerns, you can check us out online, recreationalpowersports.com, or come on down to the dealership. I'd be happy to show you the boat.